what's up guys it's Raphael here this video is going to be a lot of fun there's a lot of cool new things we've added and I know we've been kind of quiet the last few weeks but that doesn't mean we've been working as always so I'm going to go over a couple things this video um, the first thing you might notice is that the game just looks substantially better we took a lot of time to focus on um, lighting effects uh, tone mapping, ambient inclusion, just a lot of post-processing effects to make the game look as good as it should, you know. There were things that we we noticed and heard from the community about how the game looks, which we agreed on 100%, and that's why we took this action, so personally I think it looks perfect, I think it looks great, the lights look amazing to me, and everything just looks great to me, so um, right now we're in a new thing a new feature called photo mode. Now photo mode is uh, something I gained inspiration from uh, from the new game Spider-Man that has a photo mode. You can take some really cool pictures of the city and of Spider-Man and stuff but for me I thought you know I wanted to incorporate that feature because a huge part of my life has been fire buffing and I take pictures or videos of a fire scene but you couldn't really get those angles that you really wanted to. Um, now the benefit of photo mode is it gives you a whole new camera mode while also removing UI completely and giving you a in-game photo gallery that you can view at any time so uh, to enter photo mode you simply go from any, cam any camera mode that you're in let's say we're in uh, RTS camera right now as you can see if we just press F6 We'll enter photo mode, which gives us, you know, a cool little fly around camera that we can zoom down the streets or zoom slowly to some cool uh, cinematic shots at any field of view or any uh, any zoom. You can just use the the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. You can get some really cool uh, shots. So I'll take a picture here and I'll show you guys uh, an example of that photo gallery. So I'll press F12 to take the photo. I return to play mode and if I press F7 I can bring up my user gallery and here's the photo I just took. Now these are, will be inside of your game folder as well for you to be able to access. But this kind of gives you an in-game album to, to look at your pictures. Now that's a cool picture to be honest. So the game looks great, right, in the day. So one thing I wanted to look, make the game look great at night as well. And we're still working on it, but it, to me it looks really nice. Um, might be a little too dark, but it's a work in progress. Now we'll, we'll take a look at some of the vehicles and the lighting effects at night. Now a cool thing we added also is sort of like a dirty lens effect. If you get really close to the trucks at, at night and with the, the lights, this is something I was inspired from just watching YouTube videos and stuff. You get that effect in the video. Obviously, you don't get that in real life, but um, I think it's a nice touch. Personally, I think the lights also look really, really nice. Um, something else we added, just we worked on a lot of little things to add big detail. You'll hear uh, Manhattan radio. Doesn't matter which firehouse you're in, you'll hear the radio. And if you go back to the rig, any of the rigs, and you stand like, you know, within distance, um, if, if radio's playing, you'll be able to hear it. So as I zoom out, you can notice that the sound fades away. This is a cool little thing at fire scenes. If you have the trucks there, you can hear the radio, and it kind of just adds a an aspect of realism to the game that was obviously missing before. Um, another thing that we took a really long time doing was just trying to get the city to be more alive now. Um, so you'll notice if we go down this avenue, we're going to have 
hard cars and and trash cans and trees and so here you have you know one of our street props which is a firebox which we try to have them on every corner you have you know trash cans LinkedIn link NYC uh, booths which these saved my life a bunch of times when I was in the city and my phone was about to run out of battery the cars that were parked here before are not the same cars that are parked here now so uh, they're individual parking spots that change constantly so that you know if you come back to the same area a bunch of times you don't have the same vehicles parked there so here's um, some more street props you've got some trash bags to me this was just a big detail that the game was missing um, you know just things on the sidewalks right before it was just so empty now you have your newspaper stands bike racks trash cans, fire hydrants, parked cars. And this photo mode allows me to do some really cool cinematic type shots. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy some of the things you'll be able to do with this new feature. We added uh, bus stops and buses that stop at the bus stops. Um, trees. Before this update, all the trees were the same. Now the trees randomized. So you have a different type of tree in different types of areas and it gives the city a more dynamic now look. The 9-11 um, anniversary passed uh, about two weeks ago and it really just took me back to the reason I want to be a firefighter um, was just seeing the sacrifice and heroism that members made that day so before I show this I want to make sure everybody understands I'm doing this out of respect and not out of some ignorant type of move. Um, I personally had a appreciation and an admiration for the buildings, uh, the original World Trade Center, so I decided to include that as a sort of a modification to the game that you can toggle on. It won't be there by default, but if you feel like you want to have the original buildings, um, you can simply go to the settings menu and to the advanced section and toggle it on and it's a very accurate recreation of the original World Trade Center towers very detailed it also includes a memorial with the names of those who perished that day so I'm gonna read out the memorial to you guys this memorial is on behalf of Flip Switch Games to the 2,977 victims of sep the September 11, 2001 attacks on the World Trade Center. This recreation of the original World Trade Center in Emerge NYC is in no way meant to be tasteless or offensive, but rather to honor all of those who gave their life and the beauty of the original buildings. This memorial is also here to honor the countless firefighters, police officers, and civilians who have died due to 9-11 related illnesses since so I want everyone to realize that every time we do something like this, whether it's put a an LODD uh, on the rig after they pass away on the line of duty, it's always done to commemorate and sort of memorialize that person because I want to be able to do that, but the best way I can is to, to do it through this, you know. But I'll take you around the... Uh, the buildings and you can see sort of the the accuracy and the detail you can go up here and walk and walk in the uh, plaza it's a really beautiful beautiful area so I recommend doing that we're gonna make it look a lot better with um, with trees and and whatnot but we hope you guys can respect this area and um, appreciate it at the same time. So this is just an example of some of like the cool new cinematic shots you can take um, if you want to do YouTube videos or screenshots. It just shows some of the uh, the new options we can give you guys to do this.
So the last thing I want to show you guys is um, the basically going to be the beginning of the EMS video, which is coming next. This is what I'm most excited about to show you guys. Um, I'm going to show you sort of just the what I can show you so far. This ne next video will be soon, but just to show you kind of where we're at. So um, you can. So here we have our paramedic. We can go to the back of the ambulance and hold E. And you have this new um, radial menu, which we're going to replace a lot of current systems with this because it looks nicer and it works nicer. Um, and it, it's easier for new players to use. So we just press E and we can grab our stretcher. So from there, we have a couple options. Uh, we can grab it. We're still working on the uh, animation. You can release the stretcher. You can lower the stretcher. You can uh, put the patient on the stretcher when you have the patient. You can raise the stretcher. You can uh, take the stretcher back. Back to the ambulance. And you can return the stretcher. So that's uh, what we can show right now. We do have a lot more to show, but I kind of want to wait till it's the right time. Um, but what I will show is this handbook that I wrote today. Um, for people who don't really know about EMS or people who are into EMS but kind of trying to understand how the game works. So this is the EMS guidebook written by yours truly. We divided sort of the game mechanics into a few different, um, a few different um, categories. So number one, you have your patient vitals. Now, the vitals in the game are what you're going to have in real life. You have your O2 sats, which you need to monitor. You need to monitor your heart rate, breathing, blood pressure, your temperature, blood glucose and to examine these you would examine them like you would in real life so right now as you walk up to the player or correction if you walk up to the patient he will show up with a a bunch of different um areas that you can examine on his body um so if you want to check his pulse you can check his neck you'll you'll hold the button to examine that area of the body It'll take a couple seconds, and then once you have finished examining it, it will display either this area looks fine or what you need to know about your assessment. So if you notice that he has no pulse or his pulse is weak, or if you check his, uh, his hands and you check for a pulse there, um, those are different things that will show up. If you check his head, you might also get... Um, it, he, his temperature is really low or he's really hot. If you check um, their chest, you'll see if they have, if they're breathing um, proficiently or if they uh, have possible internal ble bleeding from bruising or if you feel some type of tenderness. Um, so once you got your patient vitals, you keep examining the patient and you're going to be presented with d all these different conditions. So, you obviously have cardiac arrest, shock, you know, respiratory arrest, broken limbs, chest pains, difficulty breathing, choking. These are all different categories that when you assess the situation, you need to figure out, okay, what, what next, what treatment and what medication do I need to use? Um, so, let's say we come on a patient who has um, severe burns in a fire. If you know kind of the basics of EMS, you need to look out for him going into shock from hypoperfusion because you lose a lot of a lot of fluids. You need to look for his airways because he can have in, have burned his airway and now be unable to breathe. So the treatments we would use, uh, we can use oxygen, of course. Uh, we might need to intubate the patient from if they are unable to breathe because of their burned airway we might need to do rescue breathing if they're breathing or not 
we uh, want to use we want to give them an IV because they lose uh, fluid and then we can go to our medications and see okay what well, can we give the patient um, can we give him morphine to reduce the pain and pain's gonna affect your patient he won't be able if he's in a lot of pain he's not gonna be able to tell you what he feels or you know what hurts and this and that so um, pain is a, uh, one of the conditions you're gonna have to address because if your patient gets too much in pain he can pass out and make the situation worse so you want to either give them morphine or Tylenol um, and then you transport the patient make sure you bandage you have bandages and other treatment you can bandage the burns um, and just sterilize them and transport the patient to the hospital um, so you're going to be given a wide variety of EMS calls from cardiac arrest, trauma, accidents, falls, um, people hit by cars, fevers, strokes, seizures, choking, just all kinds of stuff. Um, and it's going to be hard to kind of know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing. So we want to have this guidebook to help you, for you to reference. You know, if you need to see, okay, what medication can I give him? What's the problem? Oh, he's not breathing? Well, what treatment can I do? Uh, I can intubate him. I can give him re rescue breathing. Is his heart pumping? I can give him CPR. I can shock him to see if his heart starts again. And these treatments and medications all have a downside as well. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. So if you try and defib somebody whose heart is beating perfectly fine, they're going to might go into cardiac arrest or their heart might stop breathing, uh, beating or get in a regular pattern. Um, if you you don't need to intubate somebody who's breathing perfectly fine, you know. So it's just things like that 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 you need to be mindful of, and it's a lot of fun. And I can't wait to show you guys in the next video. Um, so leave a comment in the comment section about what you guys think of uh, the coming update and we are really really excited to get it out more than you guys so I just want to thank everybody who's patient everybody who just still follows the project because we put a lot of work into this stuff um, and we just appreciate our community so much I know a lot of people lose lose faith in us and a lot of people don't think we can do it but I promise you we can do it and we're gonna do it right we're gonna do it the right way um, so really excited for this next EMS video it should be coming really soon um, we're just kinda doing the last few touches and I will see you then guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'll talk to you guys later peace